Hello everyone, welcome back to another Maya tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a heart and then also expand it using air and gravity. So let's start off by going into our side view and going over to create, curve tools, EP curve tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of make a blueprint of our heart on one side and then use it to kind of be a reference. So start off by creating your first point and then, you know, make a heart. <clears throat> so I'm not very good at hearts, but I think something like like this. All right, kind of sketchy looking, but whatever. And then what you want to do is hold down right click on that <clears throat> curve, so you can do Control Vertex, and then take that vertex and then hold down X after you press W to uh, move it to make it so it snaps to the grid line. Perfect. And now what we're gonna want to do is creates a cube and go into x-ray mode and then just place that kind of about there and then take those vertices and drag them out to fill the entire heart and then go to your uh, multi-cut tool and then just hold down control to make a bunch of lines doesn't really matter how you make them use edge loops if you want to make it exactly precise but just a bunch of them and then what you want to do is just drag select each of these and just push them up so you can follow the curve of our heart so pretty simple <laughs> um, your heart probably will look very different than you than mine I'm not really a, a master at making hearts I think mine kinda look like cow feet but whatever so just continue pushing these up just like this Try and make it as even as you want, you know, maybe I could make mine a little bit better. And just continue. We're gonna make a, some more cuts, you'll see soon, because that's kind of a hard angle right there, but... And then you don't have to follow your, your reference entirely, or you don't even need a reference, but I find it easier with a reference because I'm no master at heart shapes, as you can tell. This will be a, a fat looking heart. Okay, we're almost done. So, continue making these go down until you have one side of your heart done. And now what we need to do is select our multi-cut tool again, and let's add maybe two kind of cuts right there. That way we can push them out and give it a nicer kind of curve right there. Perfect. Now select this again and make sure that all of these vertices are right on the grid line. So press W, hold down X, and then make sure they're snapped to that grid line. Now go into object mode and press D to grab your pivot point, and then hold down X again, that way you can also snap to the, the uh, grid right there. That way, if we pull out our attribute editor, or whatever it is, and we control D to duplicate this, and you go into your P cube two right here, and you press R, and you can see when we start moving this down, this starts becoming less. So what we want to do is just go to the front of that and just put a negative. So instead of one, it's just negative one. Now we have our heart. It's a little sketchy looking because I'm not very good at hearts, but uh, whatever. So select both of those now, hold down shift, and then combine them. And what you want to do is you want to make these vertices um, a bit more, also you can tell, you know, 3D. Um, you want to make them a bit more merge because right now, you know, it's just one like that. So if you press 4, you can go into wireframe mode, which might help a little bit or may make it a bit more confusing. But what we're trying to do is just merge these two vertices together. Okay? So press 4 again and just, let's see, drag select and then go over here to press merge. And then what you can also do is press G to repeat your last command. So I am trying to go down. This may be really hard for for you to see, but basically what I'm trying to do is just merge all of these together. So press G, press G, press G, press G, and I believe that is all of them. Okay, we can test it out. You know, now if you were to push them in, it's just one. Perfect. Okay. Now the next step is to kind of fill this with air. So what you want to do is actually first we can delete that curve because we don't need it and it's kind of ugly. Um, and actually, you know what? Let's let's make it red first. So assign a new material, make it a blend. Um, and just, whoops, give it a nice color. Actually, I kind of like this pink I had. 
Perfect. Okay, so we have our heart right here. What we want to do is actually we could also put a multi-cuts couple through here. It will help it look a bit more pumped up. In fact, of course, it's uh, not going all the way through for some reason, so I'm just going to quickly stitch these. And also you can press Q to uh, stop your current cuts, and then you can just press Q to um, undo that. Okay. So just continue making these cuts. All right, it's kind of uneven, but whatever. It'll be pumped up and it'll look cool. All right, so now what you want to do is go into your FX menu right here and go over to end cloth and create end cloth. <laughs> Perfect. Now select this again and go over to field slash solvers and click on air. Now what you want to do is head over to this nucleus one right here and then go over to your end cloth shape one, I believe. Yep. And make sure that this pressure right here is all the way over to one. You may need to open this menu that says pressure. And then if we were to press play, it will expand. It's kind of weird shaped, but uh, so we might be able to just go back in time. And some things we could do maybe, uh, we could we could bring up this kind of crest right here, to kind of make it more of a heart shape. In fact, to make that more symmetrical, you can just drag both of those up. All right, that looks a bit better in my opinion. Um, it's your choice though, so then just press play again. And then, oh, yeah, he's fallen. Basically what we're doing is the air is expanding with pressure, that way all of our cuts are able to expand. So we can stop it about there, or maybe give it a little bit more frames, okay. So now go back into object mode, and you have your heart, it's all pumped up and cool, and you can go ahead and fix some things. For example, this is kind of pointy, this is kind of pointy, and then just bring those in maybe, something like that. You used gravity and air to kind of pump up your heart. I'm not sure if you want to do this, but I think it looks pretty cool because it's all pumped up kind of like a pillow. All right, and then what you can also do to make this a bit better is go to edit, delete all by type, history. Okay, and then go to modify and center pivot and just bring this back up. And you can also delete, I don't know, you can delete your nucleus if you want. Um, and bam, we have our heart, and you can do whatever you want with it. It's kind of funky looking because I did this kind of fast, but if you spend a lot of time, you can make your heart look great. You can even go back in time and, you know, edit it and do whatever you want with it. But yet, yeah, that is how you make a heart. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe.